next to me is uh, the first uh, bulletin board in the world, uh, CBBS Chicago. Uh, people wondered if the C stood for Christensen or Chicago or whatever, and, uh, and no, it didn't because there was no such thing as a BBS, so it was a computerized bulletin board system. I say it's kind of like America Online, but really scaled down, you know? <laughs> it's, 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 it's not an easy thing to explain. With this program you'd have on your computer, you'd dial a number, and you'd enter your name and password, and it would say hello, and then you could go to the messages, and you could read these messages. And then you could add one. And if you waited long enough, and I had to say months, other people would have called in and left messages, and after a few months, you have a conversation. And they're like, why? <laughs> you know, they're all in their early 20s, and it's was like, well, that's stupid. I mean, you know, it, and it is stupid. It was unbelievably stupid. I, I try telling it to people now, I'm like, imagine AI, you know, AIM is down, and all of your buddies are gone. Your buddy list is empty, and you can't talk to anybody. And there's no email. And people don't quite get how bad that would be. There was a serious rift between any of the 8-bit users between Apple, between Atari, between Commodore. I, I refer to them as Ford versus Chevy arguments. There was always this big argument between people who thought Chevy was the best car make and people who thought Ford was the best car make. And there were always this rivalry and this uh, uh, fight between them for what seemed like a completely pointless thing. People get really, really heated. They get very, very defensive of their computers. It, it's, it's not like you go and you buy a stereo or you buy a blender or a toaster. A computer is a very, very personal thing. It's, it's, it's an expression of how you want to work, how you want to do things. It becomes an extension of yourself, and you, you tend to protect your, 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 your young, your own. Each had their own group of followers. Each group of followers was very faithful to the company they chose. Uh, well, Atari's were the best computers ever made. The, it's, forget it. It's the Apple II was the only software thing in town. The Commodore, I think, did more to get people into computers than anything else on the planet. When you thought of Atari, you thought of the highest quality, you know, the, the best games, the best, you know, the best of everything. So it made sense that, you know, if they come out with a computer, God, it's got to be the best thing around. The Apple was the ultimate hackable piece of hardware. The Lisa was beautiful, so I fell in love with Lisa. Tandy did have a great computer, which you may be talking about, the Coco, the, the color computer. Uh, 64, it was everywhere. They're great, because they're the coolest. You understand what's going on with an Apple II. It's not going to trick you. <laughs> Nothing sneaky is going to happen on an Apple II. They break down, you put them in the closet, and they heal themselves. I hate it because it's a stupid sounding word. We're system operators. We're not a shortened something or other. We're, we're the people who are keeping the damn thing running. We're not sysops. I mean, I never called it system operator. It's just, it's not a system operator. It's a sysop. Oh, by the way, I say SISOP, not SISOP, so... Yeah, system operator, SISOP. <laughs> if anybody's a linguist out there, you know, just forget it. That's the way I pronounce it. Thank you. Yeah, I must have said SISOP for years until I discovered I was being a horrible, horribly gauche. <laughs> it was a big holy war back then. <laughs> I just, that's how I pronounce things. If I saw something with a Y, I would say SISOP. Uh, Why did you go with Sysop? I thought Sysop sounded too much like sissy. My friends and I always said Wizop. <laughs> I only say Sysop for the benefit of normal people. <laughs> Wizop. Wizop was better than Sysop. I mean, yeah. come on. <laughs> Under a sort of mess of stuff. Is the old BBS exactly how it was, even missing the six key when I took it off the line. I don't like throwing things away. And look, it has floppies in it. Seems to be, it's exactly like it used to be, because that's a slot 6 drive 1, the, the boot disk for uh, T-Pro BBS. When was the last time you saw it? 
this. Hey, I out of a box like this. Well, this box it's from a monitor that I bought ten years ago. <laughs> I was sitting at lunch one day with my friend Mike at high school, and uh, he was talking about this great new thing called a BBS. And um, I wasn't really popular in high school, so I was like, what is this? I was really into the computers. And uh, he said, oh, you can talk to people through through the computer. And I was like, no. He's like, yeah, come over. So I went over to his house, and he started dialing up. Well, a friend of mine said, hey, try this number. There's a way to communicate with people that involves this computer, and they're out there doing the same exact thing, yet they may not be local to you, they may be local to you. You may never meet them in person. This is totally cool. I can, like, interact with another machine. And at that moment, I was hooked. This is for me. I have to get in on this. I remember the first time I downloaded a program and installed it on my computer and ran it. That was amazing. Like, who would have thought you could install a program on your computer without putting a disk in it? When I'd pick up the phone, and I'd be dialing on that hideous rotary dial phone to... You know, to finally get the number, after hearing the busy signal for a couple hundred times, finally getting a ring, and then going, oh, and then connecting, and then seeing this, you know, this, this the logon prompt. <laughs> this adrenaline rush. All right, I'm getting on. You know, I dialed into that, and then on that message board, they had lists of other places you could dial into. And from that, you know, I started dialing in all over the place. The mystique was there, there was something alluring about just, you know, staying up nights. It was something you'd do at night, it wasn't something you'd really want to do during the day because, you know, everybody was up and you'd be bothered. But if you sat in front of the computer, um, there was something special about calling someplace you had never called before, not knowing what to expect, logging in, exploring its menus, exploring the systems trying to find the operator online and break into chat and talk them about what the heck their system was about. The fact that you could get out there to California or, or Seattle or Maine or Boston and you know the, the minute it took you to dial a number, wait for a carrier and connect and just be in someone's house or store, wherever this thing was. So you'd like dial in and it's just, you hear the modem go, and it gets little noises, and it's whistling and stuff, and you're on, bam, it's like, and there's no multitasking, it's like that's all your computer does, so you're like, you've got the whole screen, and you're there, it feels like you're going somewhere, like it's a place, like a journey. It's like, this is brilliant, this is amazing, this is fantastic, I can talk to somebody through a computer without seeing them, they don't have to see me, I don't have to see them, we just talk. You knew that someone said, oh, what do you do? Like, oh, I spent some time on BBSs. If you saw the light spark, you knew that was a person you could relate to. If you didn't, screw them. They weren't worth your time. Walking through the lair. Mm -hmm. yep. Hope your Indiana Jones card is up to date. But, buried back here, under the piles, is the original CBBS Northwest system. Not in its original configuration right at the moment. I mean, I, I've still got all the cards, all the original cards, even the PM on my modem card is still rattling around in a box. But the original CPU, the whole thing, the, that, that box, you know, for 13 years just sat there pretty much happily and took phone calls. It certainly has been, it's just been fun seeing the, seeing the progression. The whole BBS thing was for our computer club to be able to produce newsletters. That was the whole idea of it. It worked. From wherever it went from then, fine.
I just loaded the uh, the BBS. 